Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to talk about the different supplies you need to get started with punch needle embroidery. Let's get started. Some of the supplies are basic things that you might have around the house and some of them are specialty punch needle items. The specialty punch needle items can all be found in my Etsy shop and I'll put a link in the description below. The first thing you're going to want is to find a punch needle pattern. There are many punch needle patterns to choose from, or you can draw your own design. With any of my punch needle patterns, you can choose a digital pattern, a paper pattern, or a kit. You're going to want a punch needle. I found two punch needles that I would recommend, the Ultra Punch Needle and the CTR needles. The Ultra Punch Needle is adjustable. It has 12 different depth settings, allowing for a large variation in the height of the loops, allowing you to create a three-dimensional effect. So that's the highest there and down to the lowest here. It's made of a durable, hard resin. The CTR Punch Needle is also slightly adjustable. It has these removable gauges, allowing for some variation in the height of the loops created. The CTR Needle is an all-metal design. It has a bevel indicated right here to show you which way is the front of the needle. You're going to need a needle threader. A needle threader is a thin looped wire that's long enough to fit all the way through the tube of the needle and it's used to pull the floss through the tube and through the eye of the needle. Most punch needles will come with a needle threader and they also sell replacement needle threaders for when these break or if you lose it. Foundation fabric is the material that the punch needle design is punched into. Weaver's cloth is a tightly woven cotton and polyester blend fabric. While you can punch into other fibers, weaver's cloth is the best foundation fabric for beginners. To transfer your pattern onto the weaver's cloth, you're going to want to use a light box or a window. I use a light box like this one here. Punch needle embroidery is done with embroidery floss, pearl cottons, or other things that are the equivalent size. You can find DMC embroidery floss like this at most hobby stores. you also want to use a fine tip marker for transferring the pattern to the weaver's cloth. And you're going to need some basic sewing supplies. You will at least need scissors to clip the threads. Depending on how you decide to finish the punch needle project, you might also need needle and thread and other supplies. You're also going to need a way to hold the weaver's cloth tight while you are punching. You can do this with a Morgan no-slip hoop or a Morgan no-slip lap stand. Both of these have a lip all the way around one part of the hoop and the other inner part has a groove and the two pieces fit together and help keep the fabric from slipping as you're punching. The lap stand is more expensive than the single frame, but it does have two different sizes of hoops and it allows you to set the project down in your lap or on a table while you're punching, leaving both hands free for punching. With both of these options, the fabric may slip some as you punch and may need to be retightened occasionally. You can also choose a gripper strip frame. It has these angled gripper strips to hold the foundation cloth drum tight and the fabric will stay drum tight and you don't have to retighten it unless you take the fabric off. Be sure to look for one with a hole in the bottom because when you punch you're going to be punching from the back side so it's nice to be able to turn it over and look at the front of your work as you progress. This type of frame is also used in rug hooking. If you get this, be sure to be very careful. The gripper strips are made of sharp little pointed wires and they're very sharp. They're okay going this way, but if you were to rub your fingers going the other way, they're very pokey. I recommend a frame cozy. 
that you can put over the edges and that helps hide the teeth and protect your hands while you're and your arms while you're punching. When you purchase a gripper strip frame from my shop, you also receive a pattern to sew your own cozy. And again, you can find all of these specialty punch needle supplies in my Etsy shop. You also will want to check out my beginner's guide to punch needle. It's a step-by-step -step guide to getting started with punch needle embroidery. I will link to it in the description below. In the description box below is a link for printing out the guide to punch needle supplies. It includes all the supplies that we discussed and it also has a handy checklist that you can print off and check off the items as you get them. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.